Hi there, this is Glenn VK4NGA with you. I just wanted to uh, give you a look around my code plug for the Radio Oddity GD77. I'm running uh, Roger Clark's CPS, the Community Edition, uh, which you'll find uh, many places on the net you can download it or you can go to Roger's website. Uh, it's an excellent um, uh, CPS to use. Uh, a couple of little things in there that are different to um, the basic CPS. I'm just going to take you through the code plug screen by screen just to give you a look. The basic information um, basic, I didn't change anything in here um, except you can see I'm running this firmware version here um, works really well uh, I don't have any problems with that firmware no bugs that I can see Uh, the boot item, uh, just got my name in there and my call sign. Uh, the menu. I find it best to run everything at full screen. Um, that way you just don't miss anything. So you can have a look at how this is set up in here. I've made a couple of changes. Um, I've got the key tones off. Uh, that drives me crazy, all those little beeps. Uh, I've got the backlight always on. Uh, I don't use the. Uh, I just got the key, the keypad tone, the keypad lock time is manual. Channel display is name, double standby off. So that's it for that screen. Uh, pretty basic the setup there. Pretty much as it came, with just a couple of changes. Uh, I've done nothing in here. Haven't assigned any keys. Uh, general settings, uh, call sign, DMR ID, um, you can see I haven't really changed much from the uh, factory defaults there, it's all pretty much the same as it was when the radio was new. Um, buttons, I had to play around with those, you can pretty much do your own thing in here. Uh, so that's pretty self-explanatory there. Text message, uh, that's factory default. I haven't actually tried that yet. Uh, again, this is factory default. I haven't done anything in there. Uh, DTMF uh, factory default again. DTMF only works on analog, not on digital. Uh, emergency system, I uh, haven't done anything in there. Uh, contacts, so your digital contacts. Um, pretty much all the talk groups go in here, so as you can see, this is set up for um, I've got a few zones and uh, set up in here a few different um, talk groups but basically just all talk groups set up uh, to run via the local repeater as well as via the shark open spot hotspot so the three eights here uh, pretty straightforward there 3802 is just 3802 on the end group call always make them a group call um, talk group 505 again I just uh, 505 on the tail end and then um, talk group 91 for Brandmeister talk group 9 which is uh, where the hotspot um, transmits and repeats uh, and, and uh, comes back to you on uh, reflector disconnect is just uh, 4000 I pretty much use that in Brandmeister to uh, disconnect. Uh, we've got 235 UK, 3100 uh, USA or TAC 310, uh, 4001, uh, 505 again, which in this case for... I've set up a separate 505, you'll notice it's different. Um, 
its call ID is 4800 which is reflector 4800 so that'll come in on the uh, VK uh, DMR plus server into the uh, VK DMR mark network so that's why I've got two talk group 505s in there and then a couple of um, other talk groups which are um, time slot 1 talk groups and then the 4800s so 4801 again that's just to uh, come in on the DMR plus server and then the uh, the database is in there, a few, a few more um, talk groups in amongst the database um, these are time slot 1 talk groups 133 USA and then 143 UK and then the rest of that is um, all of the uh, VK um, DMR names and call signs that will fit into the system I, there's not that many it fits into these radios uh, I think it's maybe a thousand all up so you'll see a few other talk groups are tailed in in here uh, the way to get that database in there is I'm um, just going to extras and download contacts and then it's pretty self-explanatory there you download it I'm not going to do that now because I don't want to overwrite what's in there download it then you uh, select all import selected and it, it'll just fill it up so that's pretty cool um, little thing that Roger's put in there it's very good so that's the digital contacts um, all your talk groups um, receive group list uh, I set it up and the best way to set it up uh, in my view is to have a receive group for every talk group so this is talk group 9 and it's just got 9 in it nothing else if you put them all, I started my first code plug all of uh, my talk groups were in one RX group list and what I found was if somebody's talking transmitting either on the repeater or the hotspot and you want to switch talk groups nearly impossible to do it because the radio just overrides you whereas if you've got them all in uh, separate talk groups uh, separate RX group lists um, you'll find that um, it'll just uh, it'll work really well for you so that's pretty much everything in there uh, yes yeah, so that's self-explanatory there uh, zones uh, this zone here is for the local repeater um, there's only 16 talk groups per zone so this is full so I set up a second zone which is just called uh, international which has got the uh, time slot 1 talk groups in it so I'll just go back to there again so that's the local repeater so uh, talk group 505 then the 3 8 right up to 3809 which is on time slot 1 and then uh, the rest of them in here uh, Brandmeister again I've just got uh, 16 set up in there 16 talk groups pretty much covers everything that you'll want uh, which is this is set up for my um, hotspot uh, the DMR mark which is for the uh, VK DMR mark network just uh, all the uh, 4800 reflectors then we go analog repeaters just some local repeaters and a couple of um, CB channels in there as well Uh, this one here, VK4RMC, which is the Brisbane um, repeater. I can hear it, but I can't get into it from here. So I've only got uh, 505 set up in there. Uh, YSF FCS is for cross-mode from DMR to um, to both those modes. 
so I've just got talk group 9 which the um, the open spot communicates on and reflector disconnect in there uh, this one here VK4 RDS which is the local 2 meter multi-mode repeater I've only got uh, talk group 91 and 505 set up in there just so I can have a play around with that so that's the zone so um, I'm not sure how many zones you can set up but uh, to add a zone you just click on there and hit enter and you've got your new zone so pretty straightforward and that's the new zone you just rename it up here when you add it okay so channels So we've got VK505, just always make these full screen. So this is um, set up for the hotspot, so simplex 439125, which is uh, in the Australian band plan for hotspots. So you have a look in there, pretty straightforward. Receive group list is 505. Uh, contact is 505, uh, repeater slot 2, colour code 1. I always have the admit criteria set to always. Um, I think working the radio, it seems to be a bit more flexible when you have it set to always. Uh, here's a local repeater channel. So this is um, the local Sunshine Coast repeater. So you got the uh, receive frequency in there, transmit frequency same setup, so um, receive group list receive group is the same both the same there, colour code 1, time slot 2 um, if you go to 3809, where's that? never find things when you want them in there somewhere I bet watching the video you can see it and I can't anyway um, so basically when you uh, if you want to add more channels say for your local repeater after you've built the whole framework here for your first channel just right click on it copy then go up to channel hit the enter your new channel will be down here highlight it, right click paste change, double click on that channel and all of your data is in here, everything is set up in here all you've got to do then is change your talk groups uh, your frequencies are set up and change, rename it so easy rather than start from scratch with each channel so definitely I recommend that you uh, copy and paste when you're um, building your channels I don't think there's anything else to show you there um, scan I've only got the local repeater talk groups in scan I don't really use scan but I'm sure you'll be able to figure that out pretty straightforward uh, VFO I don't use so that's just the factory settings So that's about it. So when you build your um, when you build your code plug, um, pretty much step one is to add a digital contact. So add your talk group, add your receive group, add your channel, and then create your zone, and then put. The correct channel into the zone. So come across here. This won't let me add or delete anything because it's full. Only 16 channels per zone, remember. But normally, if there was one missing, uh, if if there was uh, one to be added, the add button there, just highlight it, add, and then this up and down feature is really good too. You can ar arrange them so they have some sort of order when you're selecting them on the radio. 
So that's pretty much it. Um, hopefully that uh, that helps you out. Uh, if you've got any questions, uh, you can always find me on the um, on the VKDMR Facebook group and a couple of other groups, or just um, put a message below the video. But if you uh, want a copy of the code plug, I'm happy to uh, email a copy across to you. But this was built from scratch after a lot of um, tearing my hair out trying to create a code plug that was versatile enough to uh, do what I wanted it to. Everybody's code plug requirements are different, so it was good to uh, to borrow code plugs off different people and learn how they work and what makes them up. But uh, once you've um, once you've had a look at some of the tutorials on YouTube, you should be pretty well set to go. VK4 Macca, so VK4 M A C C A. If you search him on YouTube, he's got a couple of great tutorials on uh, building these code plugs. So uh, I really learned a lot watching those videos as well. So uh, thanks for watching. Uh, hopefully that's helped you out. Uh, this is VK4NGA.